Hi Psych2Go family, welcome back to another video. Before we begin, we would like to thank you all for the love and support you've given us. Here at Psych2Go, our mission is to make psychology and self-help videos more accessible to everyone. Now back to the video. Have you ever been with someone you thought was the one, but then the relationship somehow ended? Do you think you might have hurt them or damaged your bond with them without even realizing it? Here are eight harmful behaviors that you need to avoid. Number one, you spend too much time together. Did you know that spending too much time with your partner can actually be bad for your relationship? Sometimes when you do everything together all the time with your partner, you may end up being pulled away from your other important relationships, like your friends and family. It may even keep you from pursuing your own goals and interests. When you start to feel like you're losing your individuality and independence, you may end up blaming and resenting your partner for it. Number two, you lack an openness to experience. Have you ever found yourself falling into a routine together, closing off from new experiences? A lack of openness to experience can cause you to lose all the excitement in your relationship. When you stop trying new things or let yourself be spontaneous and free together, you may end up following a rigid and predictable pattern. This may keep you and your partner from feeling fulfilled and satisfied with your relationship. Number three, you lack open communication. Are you afraid to tell your partner something in fear that they'll get angry at you? Or do you roll your eyes and treat their honesty with sarcasm and dismissiveness? These are kinds of behaviors that can drive a wedge between couples and foster secrecy, dishonesty, and distrust. When you lack the ability to openly communicate with your partner and speak freely with them, your relationship may take a turn for the worse. After all, communication is key in a healthy and enduring relationship. Number four, you lie to keep the peace. Have there been moments where you feel tempted to lie to keep a fight from breaking out? Instead of hiding or lying, you should be able to communicate honestly with them. A strong and loving relationship can't be built on the foundation of lies, no matter how small or well-intentioned the lie is. Without honesty, there can be no emotional intimacy, and without that, you're likely to drift apart from each other. Number five, you run away from fights. Did you know that it's actually quite healthy for couples to fight from time to time? Having conflicts shows that you and your partner can be honest and open with each other. When you resolve the issues in a way that doesn't hurt or attack the other person, then you end up strengthening your relationship. On the other hand, running away from conflict won't solve anything. You may end up bottling up your negative emotions and resenting each other and your relationship. Number six, you act passive aggressive. Do you sometimes avoid your partner, tell them backhanded compliments, or give them the cold shoulder? These are examples of passive aggressiveness, and it's a maladaptive way of dealing with your problems in a relationship. If you or your partner act passive aggressive to each other instead of confronting your issues or being direct about your wants and needs, it shows emotional immaturity and it may turn your relationship toxic. Number seven, you nag and criticize. Do you nag or criticize your partner a lot? This is a way of asserting your dominance and being unsupportive of them. It sends them a message that you feel superior to them and that they should always do as you say. In a healthy relationship, you should respect your partner and give them the freedom to make their own decisions. Constantly nagging them, especially about the things they enjoy, can lead to resentment. Number eight, you're no longer affectionate. Do you keep that romantic spark alive? Being neglectful of your partner's emotional needs and not showing enough affection is one of the quickest ways to ruin a relationship. While it's normal for the initial excitement and passion to dwindle over time, it's still important to remind your partner that you love them. Whether it's buying gifts or just giving them a kiss and a hug, showing any kind of affection is important to a relationship. Do you relate to any of the behaviors mentioned here? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. And as always, thanks for watching and see you in our next video.